Hey, Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for May 27th to June 3rd. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week, all right? We've got the Empress, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Ooh, somebody is coming. Uh, the... Okay, I'm just going to keep shuffling. Sorry. I just got really excited for you. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands together. Mm, the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay, Taurus, what are we doing here? We got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. All right. Um, I'm getting a little bit shy doing your reading because I see a spicy, spicy situation. A spicy, spicy connection that's been brewing for a minute. Oh, okay. Maybe something happened around the full moon in Sagittarius because uh, we just came off of that energy. Okay. Or this could be a connection from a distance. Okay. All right. I feel like I've got a fluff in my nose. Sorry, guys. All right. Could be Raven hair. Hanging out in there. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to write. Crying. A lot of crying. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's talk about it. In tarot, the ace of wands uh, is often viewed very much like a phallic symbol. If you get what I'm putting down, okay. Beside the Knight of Wands, who is also very passionate, very hot and heavy, we're looking at somebody who, for a long time, or somebody who can get down for a long time, if you get what I'm putting down, okay? Now, the fact that the Knight and the Ace of Wands are facing the Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Empress, the Empress being you, Taurus, Yeah. Okay. What I am, <laughs> um, you know, hopefully you pick up what I'm putting down here. Okay. But like, see, somebody's caliente, caliente for you. They see you and they're like, bum, 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 bum. Literally, just like you are everything that they could have ever wanted in a relationship and maybe it's taken them a minute to acknowledge it the empress page of cups and the queen of cups yeah page of cups queen of cups to me here is is this energy here one of their feelings evolving but also like them actually surrendering to their emotions okay you're showing up as the empress the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck to me when i look at these two cards I, I can't help but feel like you're in this good energy. Like you're mwah, chef's kids. You're vibing. You're you're in a good in a good energy. Good energy. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. Like you're yeah. You're just everything is amazing. Life is so good. How lucky are you? The universe is always conspiring to work in your favor. You are so blessed. There is so much abundance, joy, happiness, stability groundedness, prosperity, opportunity available around you right now. And if you're turning around and going, no, Charlene, actually, I don't have any of that. One, I would say, go watch a rising sign. And two, if you don't, and this is what you actually want, you're declaring you're done being a victim in your life and you're ready to reclaim your life, you're ready to reclaim your power, you want to step in and radically revolutionize your life, then I would suggest that you start doing something about it. You know, like instead of woe is me, this is an energy where source is saying, Taurus, I'm giving you everything you need for you to have the best life ever. You would be silly not to take it. You know, this could mean for some of you going to watch more YouTube videos on like self-development, self-love, confidence, money, okay? Maybe for some of you, the My Money Magnet Workshop, which will teach you how to attract cash flow with ease and break free from your money limiting beliefs is another thing, an option. Do you get what I'm saying? Like Source is providing you with all these avenues, but you got to take some action. You can't sit back especially not with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, absolutely no sitting back here. Like immediate action now with the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. The other message that I'm really seeing here is Source turning around and saying to you, 
you got a lot of options. Absolutely. There's a lot of different directions that you can go. Sometimes you have to try out different things to see what works and what doesn't. And other times you have to be in this energy of introspection in order to understand the next direction. This together is a very Neptunian energy, uh, almost like illusions, delusions, okay? Making shit up in your head, um, feeling like you don't really know what way to go, but it's because you're up in your head instead of staying grounded. This is why I said stay grounded, okay? This is the energy okay you want to be in with failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn look whatever relationships connections things haven't worked out it's a learning opportunity next right sagittarius energy you are going to be expanding your mindset go look at also where sagittarius and gemini are in your natal chart for more insights with jupiter moving into gemini this may be very reflective of you and wherever you have sagittarius is where you just experienced a full moon this is enlightenment this is expansion this is understanding this is clarity okay and look at this beautiful card before we move on to your love reading your life is a canvas art manifestation creative accountability it's time now for you to manifest and draw in what you desire Sitting in energy of optimism, joy, joyful expectation, excitement, positivity, which is all uh, uh, energy of uh, Ishal. If you want to pick up Ishal, it's in the description box below. That's what's going to help you attract what you desire, okay? Let's move on to your love reading here. All my courses, including the Money Magnet, following me on Instagram, my mailing list, all that stuff's in the description box below. Your support means everything to me. So whether that means following me on Instagram, signing up to my mailing list, all of that stuff. You know, I'm here to be of service to you. All right, we got religious factors, release your ex and you deserve love. Yeah, there we go. Here it is. Your ex, okay, probably did a number on you. Um, and now you're in this deep, deep place of healing and you're learning like it's okay for you to have flings. It's okay for you to have fun. Not everything needs to be marriage. Not everything needs to be commitment. And I'm not saying go sleep around. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go do that. I'm saying go date. Go have fun. Go enjoy yourself. Go play. You know, go be at ease. We got the seven of wands and release your ex. Yeah, like let go of the fact that you feel like if you don't have a partner, you're never good enough. That's not true. High priestess, you deserve love. Yeah, you ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. You are tuning in. There's so many aces. Three aces. Okay, there's so much opportunity here for you to expand your romantic life, to see things from a new light, to experience new romance, to put yourself out there, to dare to be exploratory and different and to relish and enjoy in the energy. It's up to you now to take action. It's up to you now to acknowledge and recognize that there are all these opportunities available to you. You have to seize the opportunity. You have to go and make it happen in your life, okay? I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to follow me on Instagram, work with me in any capacity, sign up to my mailing list, all that jazz. It's all in the description box below. This is a great energy for you. I'm excited for what this week has in store for you, Taurus, all right? We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.